What we're typically talking about here is we look at the mind of the person who is receiving the service or the good, or whatever it is, and we say, is that person actually satisfied, subjectively satisfied? Ordinarily, we don't use that standard. But in the area of aesthetics, for instance, we do. So how many of you have had a big head drawing done of you? You know what I mean by big head drawing. You see these people at the beach and at other sort of touristy locations. They're there drawing for 10 bucks, 15, 20 bucks. These real quick drawings of people. They ask for some information about you. You tell them something and they draw a big head and then do something which indicates one of your likes. For instance, uh, a couple of years ago, we had big head drawings done of my children. Here's one of my sons, the piano player. I don't think he's ever heard of Jerry Lee Lewis, but apparently the cartoonist wrote, goodness gracious, great balls of fire, and had Daniel there with a big head playing the piano. Uh, another example of a big head, just in case you're still not grasping the point, Laura, the ballet dancer with a big head, saying Swine Lake, get it? And then the last example, my baseball son, he happened to be wearing a Texas Rangers hat that day, so they captured him, even though that's not his favorite team, with a Texas Rangers hat, swinging a bat, and playing baseball, with, again, a big head. Now, the idea of these big head drawings, or really anything that involves sort of portraiture, would be what? If you're not satisfied, what happens? You walk away and say, I don't want that big head drawing. I don't want it. I'm not bound. I'm not satisfied. I'm out of here. 